Hello, this is Pastor Jeff uh, coming to you today from Wapakoneta, Ohio, uh, where we're um, anticipating the birth of my grandson, the 10th grandchild, uh, Griffin Lee. So it could be any uh, day now. And so uh, we are here uh, because of the travel, because of the pandemic, uh, we are quarantined uh, here in my daughter's uh, backyard and at her home uh, for the next uh, 12 days. Uh, we've been here a couple days uh, already. And so uh, coming to you today to just talk to you about a proclamation that I believe God wants to give to us of good news, a proclamation of the favor of God. So we've been going through this season, um, this pandemic, and we can finally see light at the end of the tunnel, or at least we have a glimmer of something that is positive. We've seen um, some uh, places of business start to reopen. We've seen uh, the fact that uh, our parks uh, have become at least somewhat accessible and uh, with limitations. And Monday, restaurants will open in Tennessee uh, and Wednesday, some of our retail locations. So hallelujah, this is good news. But I'm here today to encourage you, to encourage us to know that we have good news, that God Almighty wants to give us good news. And today I'm here to proclaim that good news to you and to proclaim favor over all of our lives in the mighty name of our Lord God. And so we're gonna read today in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 61, one through three, and then we're gonna skip down to verse nine. So Isaiah 61 uh, says this, it's entitled the year of the Lord's favor. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me. This is Isaiah speaking because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me up to bind the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and to provide those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. If you skip over to verse 9b, it says, All those, all who seek him, will acknowledge that they are, are a people that the Lord has blessed. So despite this pandemic time, I believe that the prophetic word we find here, we can apply to our lives that Isaiah spoke, that we can truly look and say that we can begin to proclaim good things. This, we have good news and some good news about maybe this pandemic reaching its peak and being on the down, down uh, turn. And I know for some of us that may not be exactly uh, true, but I believe soon we'll be hearing that all over uh, the world actually and in our country. <clears throat> but in Isaiah, I believe that we have so much good news that Isaiah prophetically is speaking about. This uh, passage of, of scripture was quoted by Jesus in Luke, uh, where Jesus uses these exact words. It says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me and he's anointed me to proclaim good news. And so I believe today that I can be that space in the gap for us to say, let's proclaim the good news. And so what is the good news that God brings us? I want to talk about nine different things that are found in this passage of scripture that I believe we can declare as good news for us. First of all, the pr first proclamation, God will bind the broken hearted. So I believe that God in this season can bind the pain. Binding here is, is referring to like bandaging up a wound. And in some cases, some of us have experienced pain and suffering. Maybe our hearts have been broken. Maybe we've had some things that need to be bound up. We need to have some things that, are, that we are healed from in our hearts. Stopping the pain is one of the things that I think we can proclaim and say, Lord, I know you're worthy. I know you're able. And we can also look and say that, Lord, just like it says that you will bind up the brokenhearted, Lord God, that you will literally wrap us with your presence. Lord God, we need you to be that healing touch that surrounds us. You can be kind of like our bandage that, that takes the wound and stops the, the progression of pain, but then begins to, to provide an atmosphere for healing. 
So I'm believing that one of the proclamations of good news that we can have is that if you through this season have experienced a broken heart, maybe because you haven't been able to connect with your loved ones, maybe because things have happened within this season, I believe that God Almighty wants to say, I'm here, I'm available, and I am able to bind up the broken heart. One of our proclamations is that, just that. Lord, bind up the broken hearted. The second one is to release from darkness. Setting free as if it were a prisoner. Some of us, and for me as well, it's felt like we have lived in a prison. We have been bound to our homes. And man, that can be super frustrating and it's super limiting and it plays on your mind. But I believe that today we can proclaim, Lord, free us from that darkness. But God is, is described as a light and that light brings truth. And that truth will set us free. So we can talk about the things about being released from this season of darkness. And we should look forward to that. We should look forward to the fellowship we will regain with our friends and our families we've not been able to connect with. We should look forward to light being shed and not just in the way it was prior to the pandemic, but I believe God will take what was intended for evil and will turn it to good. And so the light would shine even brighter. I don't want to return to a, a normal as we knew it before. I want to return to something greater and bigger, something that God has put for us and to take us from a position, any place in our lives that has darkness into a position of light. Number three, freedom for the captives, loosing those that are bound. If you feel bound today, if you have felt bound through this pandemic, I would just encourage you to reach out to God and ask him to set you free. He has that power. And this proclamation is one of good news that says that we can be set free, that we can be released, not just from the bondage, not just from the captivity, but we can be set free into a place of our future and a destiny that is way beyond that which we've seen before. I believe God wants to transform the season that we've come out to, into and redeem us into a greater season, a better season where we can live. So my granddaughter just joined me. Hi, Annie. Hi. <laughs> and outside we got a moment of sunshine where I came out here. Yes. So freedom from captives. Number four, I'm proclaiming today that this is a year of God's favor that God's favor would be upon us, that we would experience divine blessing as we come out of this time of unprecedented uh, season of pandemic where we have been isolated, we've been blocked away from the normal things that we would do. I just re release right now God's favor. If we have his hand upon us, all things are possible. All things are possible to those who seek him and that we would experience a supernatural turnaround that we would experience truly a year of God's favor. Number five. So we would have comfort for those who mourn. This is really talking about the peace that passes all understanding. It's talking about defining a new normal. We're talking about some of us have been in a season where we've experienced some type of loss in this season, in this pandemic, during this COVID-19. Whether it be related to the actual uh, pandemic and the virus itself, or maybe other things have happened. You know, at the beginning of the season, we lost uh, my father-in-law. You know, it's a tragic thing. Just a few weeks ago, we lost my wife's uncle. There's been tragic loss and many families have experienced that through the season. But good news is, the proclamation of good news that Isaiah has said here, and that I believe we can say as we walk out of this pandemic, is that we will have peace, that we will receive comfort. And for those things that have been just very troubling in this time, that we are mourning about, that we will come out of that season and that we will receive comfort. Number six, beauty for ashes. We should have an experience where things come as a resurrection of our calling. That those things which we've been called to do, that have maybe laid dormant, even for seasons beyond this pandemic, but even things that we know prior to this, we felt like God had, had put in our hearts and for whatever reason, they haven't been coming to fruition. I believe as we come out of this, it will be a season of resurrection, a season where 
the, that we will see the ashes that have been burnt, that look like something was consumed and dead, would rise up and become beautiful. That there'll be restoration of losses, whether that be a financial loss, whether it be a loss of, of calling or purpose, whatever the loss would be, that we would see a restoration of that. And that from this great time of testing, that we would see testimony after testimony after testimony come forth for God's uh, joy and his benefit. Number seven, that we would have joy for mourning. Mourning is spoken about two times. So obviously Isaiah is speaking to a people that have had a lot of reason to mourn and a lot of challenges that are in their life. But I believe in here, as we declare going forward, all of those and more, not only will receive comfort, but also would receive great joy. Laughter would return. Joy out of the, from the Lord. The joy of the Lord would be our strength. And we would be able to move positively forward. Number eight, that we would have a garment of praise for exchange for our despair. That we would have the removal of heaviness out of our lives. And we would literally feel like a, we give a, a load that is lightened. And I proclaim today that, that we would have that spirit of praise. That we would have a true spirit of worship within us, that our worship be, would be taken to higher levels beyond that which we have ever experienced before, that we would have mountaintop experiences as we worship and praise him, that we tangibly experience his presence, that we would have more moments, not just the goosebumps moments, but the moments that are sincere and true, that as we worship him, as we praise him, that he will fulfill the scripture that says, it is he who inhabits the praises of his people. I proclaim a season of praise to go forth. And finally, number nine, is that the proclamation is that we would be a people of the Lord's blessing. I believe that the Lord wants to bless us abundantly above all that we can ask, above all that we can think. I'm proclaiming today as Isaiah did 700 years before Christ even came. I'm proclaiming today in the season of pandemic as we come out of that season, that I'm proclaiming a year of God's favor and within that year of God's favor that we would be people of his blessing. We have all responded to our government's proclamations during the season. We've all done whatever we could to abide by stay at home orders, social distancing, doing right things so that this thing would be uh, able to be overcome. I'm just encouraging you today. Take these proclamations of God that he will bind your broken heart, that he will release you from darkness, that he will set you free, that he will show you his favor, that he will give you comfort, that he will exchange beauty for ashes, that he will give you joy. And as we praise him, he will inhabit our dwelling and that we would be a people, not only of his favor, but of his blessing. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for your word that you've given to us in Isaiah. Lord, I thank you that you give us a proclamation of good news. Lord, that you have proclaimed good news for us. And so, Father, I stand on your word and I ask that your good news would travel to everyone who hears my voice, that they would be encouraged to know that, Lord God, that they can have peace. Lord God, they can have joy and they can walk in a position of your favor, knowing that that you have given us. You are the author of our good news. So Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. So you go out and you experience it. Walk in the light that has been provided to you through Christ Jesus and just proclaim the good news. Let those things coming out of your mouth be words of declaration and proclamation of the good news that he has for you today. Go and be blessed.